And make sure your face is within the red circle. It's a face we've missed. Right. Three, two, one. Oh. And now our favourite charming bear is back. This time for a heady adventure, retracing his roots in Peru, with the help from a few well-known faces. He's coming! Now back in London, stars of the third Paddington instalment can't wait to bring the magic alive once again. It's hard because the, particularly the last film of Paddington was just so adored by everybody, it seemed, like old and young and everything in between. So, yeah, I guess I did feel the pressure. The apprehension is understandable. It's been seven years since the last film. But this one already comes with the royal seal of approval. A photograph of the curious bear's beloved Jubilee high tea with the late Queen set to feature. And it goes back to one real genuine national treasure meeting a fictional one and sharing a moment at the palace at her jubilee. It's very touching. It's a nice little, as they call it, Easter egg uh, for the audience to spot. It's hard to believe that much of this film was shot just outside of London. It is that state-of-the-art technology that brings the Peruvian jungle alive. And that same skill set is what beautifully captures this 50-year-old literary icon. What didn't need artificially recreating, though, was Paddington's passport of the Home Office issued a real one especially. Welcome to Peru. Despite the stellar cast list, there is only ever going to be one star of this show who is not short of admirers. He's like the perfect little creature, and if any children or adults are looking for someone to look up to, they couldn't do wrong, really, by following Paddington. He's always kind, always polite. He believes that he thinks the best of everybody. I appear to be driving the boat! This furry national treasure returns to our screens on Friday. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.